I vaguely recall. It was hot, so it has to have been last summer. A little foray into the world of, you know, location scouting for video and some idea I had at the time for an original music video. Searched it on Google Maps and went to check it out. And it was so fun. Just having fun trying to find the perfect spot. So today, on my way to uh, a nearby town called Rigo and a friend who has some land out there and who's graciously offered to meet me and say, yeah, you know what, Tibo, come and check it out. I got a bunch of forested land and who knows what could come of it. I won't consider myself a city guy, but fucking gorgeous. So now, now but I kept it. My, my favorite area. This right? is beautiful, man. This long path. Yeah. That's what which means I've got to get rid of some of the smaller trees. Well, I don't think that this is not a make work project, my guy. This is to, just to take advantage of the natural beauty of what you got. He says, you going to talk shit about me? I'm going to talk shit about you right now. You look like a unicorn. I mean it. It seems we got competition. Even more special en cours. Atos Productions. It's no surprise. I'm not the only one that has the idea of shooting picturesque video at this beautiful wildlife location. Gorgeous park came here with Annie last year actually and she's the one that introduced me to the rocky beach that I'm gonna go and explore maybe do a test with the drone and a little bit of the Ronin see if we can't get some test footage this isn't exactly the spot it's kind of a rocky grassy beach but I think where we had our little romantic date a year ago was over there it's a little bit rockier but this could be kind of cool. A little island out there too. My goal is to try and get a drone shot that sort of whoosh, zooms away from the beach. I like the vibe of this rocky beach. It's uncomfortably rocky. So it doesn't seem like a place that the protagonist in the video could have just been cozying up in a wonderful little spot. It's kind of like it's rugged, it's rustic. There's an old beaten up tree and some forest in the background. Beautiful view out into the water. The only problem is that there's these little sort of like buoys or stakes in the water that break up the, the landscape. I might have to concentrate on a different shot if I'm shooting it at the water. But as far as looking in, this might do the trick. And it's a nice little bay. So I'm gonna try a drone shot going out over the water now. It's a pretty cool location. I like it a lot. And I know I can adjust depending on the angle of the light, but no, the, think about it now. I want to do it on a cloudy day because sunshine and this video does, just doesn't seem appropriate. So it has to be an overcast day. No sunsets allowed. It has to be gloomy. So gonna load up the cam and see what we can get just as some test shots for the other video. The other, the other, great English. Feels nice to be back in the videography business, but for my own personal needs, for our works of passion, this is gonna be a lot of fun. Finally doing the videos. This is precisely the kind of sparse wooded area that I was looking for. Just a little bit of ground cover, but not too much, so that it seems like it's in the middle of a swamp or something like that. So we're gonna go and take a little walking test and see if we rustle up any critters. <laughs> Good old Canadian maple leaf. Very appropriate. 
I can see this being sort of like the base of operations for that video of the weight. I like the idea of being able to walk through the forest and take certain landmarks like those bigger trees over there and maybe the stumps and such and in these logs that sort of litter the area and I'm sure I could find some feature stuff like there's a stone over there that's a little bit of like of a boulder that could be nice to stand on. I've got various characters in the video that I want to encounter during my trek through the forest and I think it could be a lot of fun to do it in a place like this. You even have sort of a relief of a hill that gives the impression of cascading sort of landscape. I don't know, it's kind of nice. This could do the trick. Take a load of fanny and put the load right on me. Okay, now I gotta find my car. What the fuck? I'm lost in a forest. Where did I park? A long time ago, I used to have a channel on YouTube dedicated entirely to gluten-free cooking. I managed to monetize that channel and I had a, a lot of following. I, mean, I think I still have a lot of following on there. Much love and respect to all of those in the world who suffer from any kind of gluten intolerance or dairy intolerance. I get you. I, I made a bunch of recipes just for you. Anyway, they're still online if you want to check them out. It was important for me that, that the recipes tasted good and I took so much care and time to really develop things in a proper way. And in that journey, I came up with some not gluten-free tricks, right? So I just learned so much about the process, ingredients and uh, unlikely combinations that would please the palate. And one thing that really intrigued me was exploring the culinary traditions of various areas and parts of the world. And in that journey, I found pinned on my map the, the markets and the specialty shops where certain ingredients were exclusively available. Like good luck finding an authentic ingredient for a specific recipe at your local grocery store. It just doesn't happen. So that's where I'm headed today. I'm headed downtown to this specialty market that has exclusive things that come directly from, you know, Finland, Sweden, Norway, all of that. And that's the only place that I found to be able to get this one particular ingredient that I'm gonna be making for Annie's birthday dinner. Back in those explorative culinary days, I was able to afford myself the luxury of uh, exploring quality ingredients and understanding the importance of that. Came with a great price tag, uh, because you want to get the authentic ingredients, well, you pay the bucks. And now that I've switched over to a uh, more frugal lifestyle, <laughs> the musician lifestyle, less expensive booze, less sushi, all that kind of good stuff, in order to be happy, because man, making the big money certainly wasn't making me happy. But I learned a lot about the food. It really made me feel more in touch with the world in general with all kinds of different cultures that I had never explored and so next stop is going to be to one of my favorite haunts back in the day was my uh, my trusty butcher with whom I have an implicit trust for the quality that uh, of his selections and all of the meats that I can find at his very tasty counter oh my goodness the gateway meat <laughs> Butcher bacon. Oh, I'm not even using it in the recipe, but I may have to just pick some up. I may have blown the budget a little bit on the wine, but it's my favorite sommelier at the local liquor store. So I told him, I said, I need a special bottle today. There's a good Pinot Noir to match with my Swedish meatballs. Got something? He goes, I got just a thing for you, Paul. Right here. There you go, the shortened version. But I'm gonna pick it up. I'm gonna pick up the whole one. Love that song, beautiful song. Done. How come Glenn's over there and you're over there? Did you guys have a fight? Did you have a fight? 
Are you fighting? Glenn's like, yeah, we had a fight. <laughs> oh, buddy. Not okay. Not okay. No. Steve will not let that happen. Lots of great requests here, guys. Thanks for keeping them coming. So we proclaim that there's a warm on the blame, but I know the truth. It's all Polly's fault. Is Mo here? What? Did you request on his behalf? Oh, because uh, we have a friend. Alex and I have a friend named Mo who requests Bon Jovi. Anyway. Oh, it's such an honor to play for you. You know, we really have so much respect for your son. He's an incredibly service-oriented, polite, friendly, integrity guy. Yeah, he's blushing a bit, but it's the truth. Make some noise for Alex's parents who freaking raised them good. Let's go! Even Alex can clap for that. That's dope. Quel honneur que vous êtes là ce soir. Quel honneur. I got the night on my side and I'm falling. Yeah. Get over and I'll run. My mom's lazy, but she has a request. Oh, <laughs> your mom's here too? Yeah. What is it? What's going on, All man? The moms are here. What All the moms. Oh, my goodness. It's like Mother's Day. Rekindled. That's so wonderful. I have so many good things to say about your daughter, for real. No joke. But I'll, I'll, come and, I'll come and see you later and, and harass you in person. Oh my goodness, that's so wonderful. Alex's parents, Allie's parents. Are my parents here? That'd be funny because my dad passed away 20 years ago. If he showed up, I'd be fucking freaked out. I would be freaked out. Oh my God, it's Mother's Day here at McKibben's. It's Mother's Day. Let's make some noise for your moms. Make some noise for your moms, come on. Call your mom. Call your mom right now. I'm at McKibbins. The singer said, call my mom. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know why. Mount Georgia Good singing, you guys. Good singing. Good singing. Well done, you guys. Well done. Well done. Am I in the video again? No, never. Oh, I got a nice little garden. A little pride of ownership here. Come on. Now we run. McKibbins, we got a guest gonna come up and sing a song for you. Make some noise for Jonah right now. Let's go! Oh, I came a long way for this. Hold on to me as you go. As we roll down this unfamiliar road. Come on, McKibbins, put your hands together for Jonah. Took some balls to come and do that. Let's go! Where are you guys from? Where are you guys from? Boston. Boston? All right, man. <laughs> Nova Scotia? <laughs> yeah. yeah? We got a real Nova Scotian? For real. Halifax, brother. Right on. Peggy's Cove all day. Let's go, man. Lunenburg, Peggy's Cove, Chester Bay. I know all about it, man. know all about it. Love that place. A little bit of my soul down there. All right, but since y'all are from Boston, we're going to do something for you. Just... Ooh, a rose tattoo, a rose tattoo, got your name written here. In a rose tattoo. Some fucking Boston dropkick Murphys for my boys. Find something that you like and then we'll do it. And I got fucking lyrics and shit for you. I want to tear down the walls and hold me inside. I want to reach out and touch the flame where the streets have no name. Oh, 
And I want to feel sunlight on my face Every voyage I ever made I swore it would be my last And I'll sing farewell to Carlingford And farewell to Greeno Won't you come on over <laughs> Are you for real? No, I'm gonna pass on my soul. You're the cutest. No, that was good. No one's ever, ever brought me cherries in a bar before. Uh, if you want a non perishable snack, then you can eat later. I got that too. <laughs> no. I remember when he showed up on St. Patty's and previous yeah. energy bar. Oh, yeah, you had the energy bar. That's true. That's true. I mean, look at you. Oh, you're the best. <laughs> best tip ever. Uh, thank you, pal. Thank you, pal. Can I just make some more romance with you, my love? Okay, so he's got to replace his battery. That means I'm forced to tell a dad joke. So, how many? <laughs> how many? And wait. You're clap for the dad joke. Close, no close. You're close. How how many tickles does it take to make an octopus laugh? Ten, Ten tickles. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Feel free to throw beer at me. Tivo, how much more time do you need? Uh, 20 seconds. 20 uh, seconds. Let's go. Let's go. One more, Let's joke? Go. One more joke? Okay. Come uh, on, make some noise for the dad jokes. That was good. That was good. That was good. That's real. Thank you, Rambo. You think he's going to move in? Dude, if you want the keys, you got to start paying. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you talk about money, I'm fucking out of here. Yeah! And it explodes. <laughs> In how many years must a mountain exist Before it is washed to the sea We need to start a sitcom, eh? Base it on Friends and Seinfeld, but it's, it's here. It's at McKibben's. We'll call it the living room. The living room. Welcome to the living room. What do you do? Nothing. Oh, that's good. <laughs> what do you do? Fucking nothing. Nothing. Okay, I'm in. When do I meet you? Like we got Norm. We got Norm right here. It's fucking perfect, right? Oh, I'm giving the people to free my soul. I want to get lost in your rag and roll and drift away. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry? No, it doesn't work that way. You have to say mean shit. If you're going to heckle, you can't be cute and clap. Heckle. You know, we give you flowers. <laughs> That's the way it works. Fuck you, you suck. You know, that's a heckle. You know, I mean, I can heckle me better than you can heckle. Oh, there's a bad moon on the rise. Some CCR, by request. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, it's the best. My favorite line ever. It's so, it's adorable as fuck. It's so cute. Yeah. Heckle, heckle. Right? You... Bands will ask you to come to their shows. That's my new favorite thing. Heckle, heckle. <laughs> heckle, heckle. <laughs> it's the best. What could be more contagious than laughter and. Heckle, heckle. This is music. We're going to hire her for the, for the movie, for the sitcom. Bow, 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 bow. Heckle, heckle. 
It's over. Oh, fuck. The whole place would be howling in 10 minutes. You're like, someone will walk in. Nothing is happening. There's no service. There's no music. Is everyone laughing? What the fuck? So we got the two parts, right? It's like a funny horror movie, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Mario, good to see you, buddy. I'm just going to warn you, because we texted earlier and you said you were going to come and heckle. We have, we have a heckler. Hold on. Listen. This is how she heckles. Check it. Ready? One, two, three. It's the cutest thing you've heard all fucking day. All right. Some Bob Dylan coming up by request. Good choice. Good choice. Bob Dylan. We'll dedicate this one to my man, Fubar. Fubar. Got you, brother. Written by an Italian poet from the 13th century. And every one of them words ring true to glow like a burning coal. Pouring off every page like it was written in my soul from me to you. Tangled up in blue. Morning, guys. Hey, looking good. I love it. I know she's put on weight. I know. I didn't want to tell her. Come on, everyone has a chance. Let's go, guys. Be positive. Bravo, mama. Wow. You go, guys. So where are we going today? Where are you taking me? Well, I'm taking you to the wild, wild west. <laughs> <laughs> I feel safe with you, though, bro. Oh, Thank you, you do, eh? Fellow guitarist, a Yamaha player, right? Yes, now. indeed. we we'll have to get I'm... you on the show. Yeah. <laughs> One day. All right, I look forward to it. Yes. Is the best thing that'll happen to me all morning, I promise you. I can play requests if you like. If you'd like to hear something in specific, if I know it, I'll be happy to play it for you. Oh no, no, no. I miss uh, your teacher or what? what I do what teach you guitar, do? but uh, my my goal here is to help support the fundraiser for the walkathon for the Lakeshore General Hospital to, oh, okay. to support the walkathon that they're doing. Today. Ah, okay, okay. And it just so happens that there's many regulars of the park that are coming by and say, "What are you doing here?" <laughs> yes, yes. I'm oh, it's a fundraiser. Yeah. yeah. Huh? Many people didn't know with the rain. Yeah, so. no. Okay. Have a great day, okay. sir. Okay. Cheers. Bye. No coffee left. Frick. I think this is about it. It's full rain right now. There's been a lot of brave walkers in the rain at this fundraiser for the Lakeshore Hospital. I'm really proud to have been part of it because I see the tenacity and the dedication to the people that are here doing the walk in the rain. So no excuses, rain or shine. I love that kind of mantra. So mission accomplished. I had my free lunch, my little sandwich. Thank you, Bob. Appreciate it. Good chicken wrap. Just enjoy the view. You have one. Hey, uh, Polly Boy, it's the guy who got you to volunteer for this shit today, <laughs> who you'll never talk to again. I just want to make sure you're okay out there. Uh, give me a call, okay? Dude. Oh, sorry. Thank <laughs> you.
Getting set up for round two of the recordings for my solo acoustic cover videos, which is content that I'm designing specifically for my YouTube channel. Whoop! Oh no! Let's plug in some wires, get her done. Ah, oh, I could use more coffee. Fuck. All right, where did we leave off? This is last session. It's the four vocal tracks that I did for the weight. These are lead vocals. Free, take a load off in it. Lead vocals blaringly loud, so let's sort of fix that. So I think what I need to do is spend a little bit of time working on choosing which segments of the lead vocal. I'll do a little bit of pitch correction with Waves Autotune, and then I'll be able to do backup vocals reliably with a properly edited lead vocal. So a little bit of editing time to spend before I get to the, to the recording. Let's get to work. So first and foremost, my vocal chain that I've been using ever since I can remember the beginning of time is a de-esser of my little Waze de-esser. Second one is an EQ channel strip, the SSL channel strip. Of course, some compression. Got the CLAT. Wow, I could hear that just boost all of a sudden. Uh, and a Kramer tape delay. I like the sound of this. It adds a little bit of a warmth. So I can tell this is going to be freaking hugely too loud. So let's just get this down. There he is. Oh, session in effect. Oh, fuck. All right. Okay, we're gonna take a pause. We got an, uh, a mild emergency. <laughs> a few moments later. Okay, emergency averted, possibly. All right, so now it's time to discover the tracks that are ideal. Now put in the nails roof, feeling about half past dead. Oh boy, it's gonna be like that. Feeling about half past dead. I was getting experimental. Knows all he said. Interesting. I like all of that, but we're gonna go one at a time because you never know. Hey, Mr. Can you tell me where the man? Okay, so we're back in business. It's on. It's good. Good thing. Headphones. Hello. Hello. All right. Hello. Latency is your friend. Yeah. All right. Let's redo the second verse. That double. Hey. Right, so got us some vocal tracks here done and feeling very comfortable about it. Haven't touched any guitar yet today, whoops. Evening has arrived. I went upstairs to have a snack earlier and I was a little bit sort of down on myself, being hard on myself. Like, ah, oh, fuck, you spent all day on the vocal. But I didn't, I learned a lot. I, I tried the Allen and Heath as an audio interface to see if I could battle and combat that latency issue that I was having. I love loading plugins into the system as I go and hearing things rich and full and it just it costs, you know, processor speed. The only answer is to have the most expensive computer ever, which I can't afford right now, one day. Anyway, in the meantime, it's sounding pretty good. I'm excited about the vocals. I've got a whole sequence of backup vocals cooking for the weight and I knew that was gonna be a long job anyway so it's going well I'm happy about this I feel like I have some time now energy really because I don't have a gig tonight so I can take all the time I want but I know that the longer you go the ears get tired fingers get tired the just the you know the brain fog sort of sets in and uh, I'm still on coffee you know like how many coffees can you have in a day to keep the engine going it's not healthy at one point is like <laughs> Smoke starts coming out of the ears. I'm gonna try my hand at the proper guitar track. We'll see what I can get done. Less talk, more tracks. Let's start with the Yamaha. It's got a nice deep bridge sound, I like it. Take a load of Take a load Take a load of Push-ups to failure. <laughs> yeah, this is where the fog is rolling in, but I'll go give it a listen. The good old Yamaha comes in in a pinch. 
I always take great pride in being someone that people feel they can call in the case of an emergency. Just such an emergency has arised. Has arisen? Has arrived? There's a jam night going on. Drummer forgot the sticks. Let's give him a brand new pair, shall we? Or maybe I'll give him the used ones. <laughs> no, 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 brand new, all day, let's go. Vic first, they're super cheap. On my way, Lady J. Be right with you. Good deed accomplished, but I am not finished. Do I have enough in me to crank out one more guitar track? Yeah! I won't lie, I'm feeling pretty proud. The, the litmus test for me is always the goosebumps. If I get excited, it's one thing. You know, I get excited about a lot of things, but when I get the goosebumps, it's it's sort of like there's, there's some other part of me that is not within my control call it subconscious or the inner voice or some shit like that it is reacting as well you know to the to the thing that i did and it's like saying yeah 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 that's good hey we 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 all agree all parts of us agree the subconscious and the conscious parts are all in agreement unanimously i'm happy about the way it's going i don't feel as though i have a, a serious guitar track in me so i'm going to focus on the bass because bass to me it's kind of like my go-to bass is probably the least amount of effort that is required of me to be able to do a professional sounding track or good enough quasi-professional at this time of day so let's do a bass track all right, we're just going straight in, not any, no preamp, nothing, just basic. You go down this Moses, and there's nothing that you can say. Well, okay, I know what I have to do. The wind is all crawling and the devil walking side by side. And I said, hey, come on, come on, let's go downtown. Well, she's Something like that. I'm sitting here listening to this, and uh, I'm really happy with the progression. The song starts off uh, suspiciously uh, devoid of instrumentation, you know, and it's just this strummed without a pick and just uh, very campfire. It sounds nice and empty with just the vocal, and then when the bass comes in, you're like, oh, what's that? What's going on? And I want to export uh, at least an almost finished version of this to send to Mo to try and get him excited about this track because I've sent him some video footage, the drone footage and all that kind of shit, but he has not heard the song. Like, like okay, I know the, the band, the weight, whatever. No, but like, what are you doing? <laughs> you know? And so this is so close. In the third verse, I need that second guitar to come in. It's 713. I want my second glass of wine. So I'm just worried now because I worry about it's timing versus quality. Like I want so much to do this right now, but I'm just worried that I'm gonna be like, yeah, it's good enough. I want it to be fucking amazing. And tomorrow is such a crazy day. And then the rest of the week is just gonna fucking escape from me. And I need to do this now. So <laughs> it's like, I'm 12 hours deep into this fucking session. Boots, what do we do? He says, do the track. Okay, I will do the track. You got it, brother. Hey, I just fucking busted my capo. What? How long have I had this capo? What the fuck? That's never happened. Holy shit. Dude, okay, you get, <laughs> yeah, I love you, bud. Get out. What the fuck? Back up, capo, quick. Stat. <laughs> It'll be nice. It'll be nice up there. I don't mind. I really have avoided in the past ever doing anything over Capo 3, but it could be fun. It's either that or tuned down. I don't feel like doing that. Get your cannonball now to take me on down the line. My bag is singing low, and I do believe it's time to get back to Miss Fanny. You know she's the only one. Gene rub on that one. All right, that's it. That's all I got. I got nothing else. It's not going to get better quality. <laughs> Each take's going to degrade. I'm just going to get more bummed. So, going to go and find the good takes of this one. Let's go. Bro. Yeah, he doing the work? Or are you just taking the chair, man? Do you even mix, bro? 
I'll get you a chair, man. I'll get you a chair. Here you go, bro. Transfer. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you. If I could get you a little kitty cat headphones <laughs> and learn to speak cat, that would be fucking great. Right? He just wants to be close. He just wants to be in the fucking game. Like, let me in, coach. Come on, put me in. So after 14 hours of, uh, no, 13 hours-ish, I'm like, I'm uh, reaching my maximum. But it's good because I know now all I have to do, and I'm not going to tape the selection of the takes <laughs> for the second acoustic guitar. But this is nice and bright up in Capo 5. I like the contrast. It's going to be nice to hear what this sounds like. I'm just going to go through it, and I'm going to take my time, have my glass of wine, chill with Mr. Boots, and get Mo this track, probably around 8.30 or 9 p.m. tonight. I'm so fucking excited to start cranking out videos. I'm thankful. I have so much gratitude, and I look forward to sharing this with you guys. Mega. Leaving with one tiny thing. That's so hard. Bye, Long and McQuaid. The one eye is taking for a night. Don't go around at night. It's bound to take your life. There's a bad moon on the rise. Don't Cheers at the high top. <laughs> Musicians? Yeah. Yeah? What do you play? Guitar. You play guitar. Yeah. You gotta watch out for these guitarists. They're freaking dangerous, man. Dangerous. Right? And Madame Chanteuse? No? Yeah? You guys wanna play one? <laughs> no? After a couple of drinks, let, let Rochelle help you out with the drinks there and uh, it's uh, liquid courage. Right? If you change your mind, let me know. Yes, sir. Blowing in the wind. Ah, oh, come on, it's the only way to have fun on a freaking. What is it? What day is this? Wednesday? I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know. How many roads was to be walked down before you can call him a man? When I hear that whistle blowing, I hang my head and cry. big switch up on this is to play pick on the Yamaha instead of vice versa like I did on the <laughs> on the weight back at Cap Saint Jacques in the perfect conditions it got cloudy as if on command a little bit of rain so i don't know if it's enough to have uh, sort of dampened the rocks on the rocky beach this is an excellent opportunity for me to get some drone footage under cloudy skies for the taylor swift video it's like freaking made to order taylor made ho ho now i just got to find the beach there's two I, I don't know which, which way do i go flying solo today tebow figure it out bro uh getting there i don't know Cut through the woods. Uh, I don't know. Pretty sure this is the way I went last time. It ends up on a sandy beach, and instead of going to the rocky shores on the left, I'll follow the beach and head to the right. Nope, completely wrong. <laughs> Other way. Holy fuck. If I get lost in a public park, then my videography career is over. Do I need to bring a compass? Learn how to tie knots? Oh, cool find. It's, it's got some stuff on it that makes it look not as authentic, but welcome to Chateau Goyer. Pretty cool. I think I've found the rocky beach. Yeah, this looks like it. It's exactly what I was hoping for with no island and no sort of buoys or spigots in the water. 
to lose that immersion and sense of isolation. But the problem is now, am I gonna get the chateau in the background as soon as I go over the trees? So I think I'm gonna put a little distance between me and that building, head down the beach this way and watch my footing. This is freaking perfect. I didn't have to go far down this rocky beach. And not only is it uncomfortable and like kind of dangerous to walk on, it feels uncomfortable for the purposes of the video where the guy, the protagonist who fucked up and messed up the relationship, and he's sort of lamenting that on a rocky, uncomfortable beach. There's no respite for him. And look at this big ass freaking red rock. It's totally standing out amongst all of the rest of the gray shale colored stone. So that could be sort of like the thinker stone for the guy in moments of desperate contemplation. Yeah, this is pretty sweet. Just hope I don't get the definition of there's a tiny sailboat out there. I don't want to see him. I want no, no people, no humanity whatsoever. Just the man and his isolation. Don't fall, buddy. I think I've reached the limit. I've sort of gone around the corner and crested this little mini bump in the shoreline. But a little bit further, I just see the tips of some docks and semblance of civilization although there is a freaking great little sort of like a mini entrance of a causeway of some swampy kind of uncomfortable looking stuff and that point would have been awesome too but again the dock over here even though it's nice i'm going back to the location alpha first red rock oh my god it's hard to walk here I don't think it could be any more perfect. I love the location and check out the dramatic, cloudy yet God ray stricken sky. There's gonna be some great drone footage. Okay, the clock is on. I got just under an hour and a half to capture all the drone footage. Here he is going out for business. Let's go, money maker. It's super fun flying the drone, but I always get a little bit like nervous, you know? I know it's not gonna go in the water. I know I'm not gonna run out of battery. I've been careful, but it's still like, what if, you know? I feel like a little bit of relief. So now I'm gonna mount my Sony ZV-1 up on the gimbal, and I'm gonna take some uh, just sort of local footage, sweeping shots close up to the rocks, maybe some foliage, the red rock, all of this with no person in the shot, no me, no actor, nobody, nothing synchronized with the music. It's just totally B-roll stock footage. And I'm actually losing a little bit of my cloudy sky over there. It's getting kind of sunny. Damn you, sunshine. This is like, it couldn't have been more perfect. I love the location. That's some hiking boots, man. It's freaking rocky as shit. You could totally sprain an ankle on this one. Somebody's got to do it for the sake of rock and roll. Come on. Roots rock, Canadian. You're feeling like I've kept a promise to myself. And I, I don't remember which vlog episode it was, but I distinctly recall, probably shortly before the operation, saying to myself that I'm always striving to stay out of my comfort zone. I won't pretend to be any good at this, making rock videos or trying to promote my roots rock Canadiana genre, identify the brand of one, and put Tebow, the musician, the songwriter on the map. I kind of suck at it right now, but I'm having so much fun. And I know I'm gonna get better every single time. And as more and more allies come on board and see the effort that's going into it and understand what it is that I'm trying to do and understand the vision of the visionaries. This is such an incredibly fruitful beginning. I'm grateful and thankful every freaking day. Where the fuck am I? I completely lost. <laughs> oh God. How do I get home? Oh, that is fucking hilarious. Oh, let's just keep walking. I'll get there eventually. Yeah, baby. Hey, bro. We mixing? It's time to mix. Late night shuffle. I got a couple of really nice edits for guitar. Acoustic guitar one and acoustic guitar two on the Taylor song. I tweaked some vocal alignments just to really give it the best possible chance at sounding right on and on tempo. Anyway, I'm gonna try and do a bass. It's really late and I'm exhausted, but I need to do this for my own uh, sanity because it doesn't get any easier tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you for wiping our tears. Thank you for sharing in our excitement. Thank you for pretending to laugh at his jokes. <laughs> 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 One 
my count. Ready, set, congratulations! Yeah! To keep the good times rolling, Kim's the boy, Kim's the boy. You know the world could be your oyster if you just put your trust in me. It will keep the good times rolling. Wait and see, wait and see. Oh, wait and see. It's exaltation. Bringing it back, man. The saw. Eiffel Tower just went. Ah! Lost the wing nut. It just fucking snapped. It snapped. There's a little original of mine called Before We Go. It's dedicated to all the bartenders and the staff of McKibben's Pub. Fucking love you guys. I could not do what you do. It's Before We Go. It's an original. You want to hear it? Check it out on the social. Scan the code. Satchmo. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks very much. That's very kind of you. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. It's not the sangria talking? You sure? Yeah, you sure it's not it's sangria, not sangria talk? talking? No? <laughs> <laughs> I sing you sing. You got it. Rolled down to Nazareth, was feeling about half past death. And I just need a place where I can lay my head. Yeah. Stayed out all night Oh, that sweet woman, Lord But I forgive you oh. Bring y'all sweet love Bring out home to me Yeah, 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 yeah. Who wrote that last song? Anybody remember? Anybody know? Bring it on home. Bring to it me on is home the name of the song. to me. Nope. Same era. Right era. Right era. Sam Cooke. The trivia show starts in half an hour, guys. <laughs> we'll hand out the sheets. And now. 
know, I 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 Great dancing, guys. Great dancing. La, 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 da, da. Just like that. Yeah. La, 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 Hey, give it up for the band. These guys are great. Excellent. So any requests down at that table that's still here? Just shout out some bands. If I, if I know them, I'll be happy to. And Brian will be back to cover. Sticks, wow. You and I can be friends. We're going to have to have a conversation. Do you know any Sticks? No? Something's happening. I don't know what it is. I'm waiting. Will you come sing? No? Oh, come on. Once. After time, I sit and I wait for your call. Now you've changed, you're so far away. I long for the past, a dream of a day with you. In your shoes, and I'll skate there. You take your own rules, you can't get away than more. Brayside store, future is all the past. Making your rules, <laughs> you're making it so hard right now. Take me away from here. Thank you, Ray. Thank you. We practiced it millions of times. Millions of times. Amazing. Thank we have so never. We could do. It's an honor to do it. We for have you. never done that song <laughs> ever. Wow. Thanks to Brian. You see him running? You know, here's six. Six. I got this guy. Get her done. People can sing it, but he doesn't know how to play it. The shit. <laughs> Storm chasers, so the weather app. How do I feel about weather? I've maintained this pretty much my whole life that if you wanna go camping and the weather says it's gonna be sunny, don't go camping. If the weather forecast says thunderstorms, go camping, because guaranteed Murphy's Law will rule in all cases that have to do with the weather. And so today is exactly one of those days. In order to do one of the very critical video shoots for the Taylor Swift video, we need cloud cover. I, you know, I lucked out the other day. I just happened to have an afternoon and it was gray and rainy and just a little drizzly. It was perfect. And we can't really match that. <laughs> Look on a perfectly sunny, you know, Sunday afternoon. My good friend Mo being so amazing, just freaking trashing an entire afternoon waiting for me to say go or no go. So I'm going to St. Anne's, which is on the westernmost tip of the island of Montreal. And I'm gonna take a really good look at the horizon and see if this cloud cover, which is slowly accumulating, it is kind of a gray sky, but it's still very much a bright day, full of sunshine. Not worth going to the to the location to do a shoot in this weather. But hopefully my scanning of the horizon will be very telling. I'll let you know in a moment. I ain't saying you treated me unkind You could've done better, baby, but I don't mind 
You just kind of wasted all my precious time Don't think twice, baby, it's all right You singing tonight, sir? Hey, is it not working? Oh, come on. I totally freaking forgot to enable it. That's hilarious. I'm glad you freaking did that. Thank you, man. Tabarnak. I owe you uh, tech support fees now. <laughs> fucking 80 bucks an hour, man. Now I feel drunk, but I'm sober. I'm young and I'm underpaid. I'm tired, but I'm working here. Because there's not many of us here, but can we make some noise for Seb? He's going to come and sing his sexy song right now. Let's go! Loving is what I got. Remember that. Love is what I got. So remember that. Love. Oh, you can do better than that. Make some noise for Seth! Oh, come on! What a classy exit. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> Some noise for James. Let's go. My favorite Christmas movie of all time. So how about that heat today? Everyone survived it. Everyone, who, who, everyone, everyone okay? Who lost more than hundred pounds today? Anyone? Anyone? We're getting there. We're getting there. REM coming up. Lots of great requests, guys. Thank you for scanning the code and making all these requests. We'll get to all of them. I think I thought I saw you try. Thank you so much. Free request, radio ad, appreciate it. I love the request system so much. So fucking chaotic. You, you couldn't bet a million bucks. I wonder what they're gonna play next. Well, obviously, this one. <clears throat> what do you do with the drunken sailor? What do you do with the drunken sailor? What do you do with the drunken sailor? I am the morning. Hallelujah. Great vocals, man. Great vocals. Yeah, just scan it. We're, we're here for a while. We're not in a name rush. So scan it up. Yeah, you're find amazing, it. by the way. You both are. It'd be great. We're listening to you and we're just like. It makes, me, it makes me look and sound better than I actually am. No, no. And so called vacations will soon be my death. I'm so sick from the drink I need home for the rest of the TV home. He says, leave me alone. Dire Straits? Shut up. Fuck, great, man. Come sing, come sing. What's your name? Monet? Yes. What the hell? What a beautiful name. McKibbins, we're not many. Can we make some noise for Monet, who's going to come up and sing? Monet! When you're going to realize it was just that the time was wrong. Juliet. All right, Sammy Sam. We're ready for you. You're paying us for a trio tonight, yeah? Well, I got it easy. Guys, make some noise for Zach, who's going to join us on the stage. Zach! Turn it all on my money on 
An honor, man. Thank you for being patient. For Bobby! Thank you so much. Feel the break, feel the break, and I gotta live it up. No, yeah, I swear that I, I really want to know. It looks as though I may have gotten my fucking cloudy day after all. Beautiful gray sky. Look at the beautiful gray face. Holy shit. I've been growing this stubble, this sandpaper face, for three days. I want to look grizzled and tired. This is the freaking cards coming together. This is the planets aligning. I'm going to go and try my best to solo the uh, the second round of film, uh, footage. Today, I'm going to do everything that I can to find that look, that feel of the tired, lonely guy on the rocky beach with guitar, synced to lyrics, close-ups, all that fucking shit. Stuff I'm perfectly comfortable with. I hope to get it done today. I'm gonna get whatever I can. It'll be as good as it's gonna be. This is the first of many to come, so let's get good at it. Let's get fucking famous. Made it back. Oh, looks like it's right where I left it. Oh, I can't wait to shave this shit off. Makes me feel old. It's for the shot. <laughs> Gotta be done. There's my beach, and not a soul in sight. Ah, uh, this was the right place. I'm so glad. Even if it cost a couple of bucks to get in, it's worth it. I spent more on guitar picks this morning. I don't know how to make rock videos. I think I did okay. I don't know. The fucking white scruffy face. Indie middle-aged musician out on a rocky beach making a video. I'm a little bit proud of doing this kind of thing. And I also know that I'm I'm okay with the idea of sucking at it the first few times. Like it's gonna be it's gonna be rough, but the first shot is not so bad. I found the right landscape. I stayed dedicated to the to the cause. It's really like a dream come true. We'll see how it turns out. One new carpet out, eh? Ay, ay, ay. It's like catnip. Anyway, nice session today. I'm looking forward to it. LV Studios is hosting a session with Nini St. Pierre, the beautiful and talented Nini St. Pierre. I'm a little biased. And uh, Mr. LA and Mr. Fred are coming to play upright bass and guitar with Nini. Guys, come on, we gotta clean up. Gotta get rid of you. Because I think Fred, unfortunately, has a bit of an allergy to the, to the cats. So we'll get rid of the big one. Hopefully that'll do the trick. Hey, bro, you ready? Hey, did you tune up? Did you do your vocal rehearsal? Wire inspector. We're primed and set for a wonderful jazzy trio. Acoustic trio, bro. Upright bass. And one of the best things about having a multi-generational home is that you have the expertise of an experienced chef making a smorgasbord of delights.
I can't remember where I heard it, but there's an adage that I use frequently and people automatically respond to it because it's so obvious. It's the notion that the first 90% of any effort that you do, whether you're working out or you're practicing guitar, or you're doing something, you're learning a new thing, getting to 90% is relatively easy. And that last five to 10%, that's freaking tough. And it continues to ring true with the mix of the audio. You know, I've been doing this for so many years. I've been doing it in an intermediate way for so many years. I've been pre-producing stuff for decades, but getting that excellent final mix and finding the details that really matter. Like, you know, you could argue that who fucking cares about covers? Like, does it really matter? And I think it does. I think in order to be able to uh, grow a following, grow a YouTube channel, grow some kind of social media presence, getting the attention of people online, it's, it's constantly harder and harder. And so you need to really be willing to put in the work and put in the time and get that attention and do the quality. It's, you can't just post the freaking video of whatever. This mix that I've just exported for the Taylor Swift cover, I'm about to combine it in DaVinci Resolve with the video that I stayed up late last night tweaking and using LUTs. What the fuck's a LUT? Well, Google it. <laughs> if you know, you know. Now I finally see, you know, that light and realize, okay, I can do this. I can totally get good at this. And I don't need to do it all by myself. I need to be able to recruit people in time, but I have to do a few to cut my teeth so I can know and say, this is how I do it. It's not necessarily how Peter Jackson would have done it, but that's the way I'm doing it. And that's where LV Studios comes in. That's what that whole notion of the identity of my, my project studio is what I'm really building here. The ability and the capacity to create multi-track audio that is reliable and has a style envisioned by or, or created by Tebow to start. Uh, and it can evolve into something else, depending on who joins the team and who is involved and the collaborators and all that. And the same thing with video. LV Studios has never done video before in a cinematic way. You know, I've done a lot of vlog documentary style stuff and live streams and all of that, but that does not define a studio. The big challenge now is I, I'm, I'm thinking so much about how to get it done on a schedule reliably, scale. And I can't be the only one. <laughs> Some people claim that there's a woman blame. Now I know it's Larry's fault. Who knows Steph? Give her a big fucking round of applause for serving 8,000 people tonight. Let's go. She's not done. She's not done. There she is. Nat, make some noise for Nat. Let's go, Nat. And Paul. Let's make some noise for Paul! <laughs> Not fair. He says, that's it. He's pissing in every drink from now on. That's it. <laughs> Quality. Poor Paul. We love you, buddy. On the south side of Chicago, on the baddest part of town. If you go down there, well, you better beware of a man named Leroy Brown. You want Stan Rogers? I will do Stan Rogers. Do you, I'm sorry, I didn't hear. Well, I got a couple. I got Mary Ellen Cotter and uh, Barrett's Privateers. Done. Oh, the year was 1778. I wish I wasn't sure, but now my dirty old Good request. Thank you for that. Appreciate it. Look at this duo, man. These guys are awesome. I love it. Mo and Fred, live. No? Wait. What? Does that mean I don't get paid? Ah, oh, crap. Uh, gotta adjust the budget. No, I don't wanna fall in love with you. Nobody. Loves no one, Kevin. Oh, wow! <laughs> Love you, 
lobster. Yeah, it's a dirt lobster. <laughs> How are you? Good to see you, brother. Great to see you. Miss you, man. Miss you. Yeah. Like I fucking hours. wasted barbecuing yeah. the other night and I sent you a drunk pic. Yeah. It's I a good thing I wasn't that. naked. <laughs> I know. I hey, you give me a heart. That's it. Yeah, I'll give you a heart. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Go get married. Come on. Yeah. Hurry up. Let's go. You ever go on a road trip? All right. You always bring five or six extra guitar picks. You know why? It's very important. I used to do this all the time. If you're going on a road trip, you got some buddies or, you know, a spouse or whatever. You're in the car, minivan, whatever. And in the little grill where the air comes out, you know, you put guitar picks. Two or three. When a good song comes on the radio and you want to play air guitar, <laughs> air guitar is so much cooler with a guitar pick. You're banging away, like, yeah, and you put it back. <laughs> like, all right. Next song. Radar Love comes up. Put it back. ACDC, ZZ Top, Road Trip, Air Guitar Picks. I highly recommend it. Oh, the strangers in this town They raise you up just to put you down Oh, Angela, it's a long time coming it seems not so long ago. I was sitting right here talking about I'm going to get out of my comfort zone and do something that I've never done before. Make fucking rock videos and try and be a, an independent movie director. It was right here. I remember it well. It was shortly after the operation. And at that time, I remember thinking to myself, it seems so strange to be doing that kind of stuff. Videos, like, how can I do it? Like, I know I can figure it out, but it seemed really strange. And so here on June 28th, it's release day for my first, I'll say, like, higher quality uh, video production. Because I've never done anything like it. It's the best quality kind of video production that I've ever done. Like anyone else who does creative stuff, you see all the little things. You know, I could have done that better. I could have done that better. But it's important to get it done <laughs> and release it and just say, okay, move on to the next one. Make the next one better. Don't wait for this one to be perfect. Some important people pooled together to help me out in the zero hour and the crunch time in the last mile. I'll be shouting out to, to them after the video is released to thank them for their support and their help. I'm glad and I'm super proud of it. And I love it that it's actually going out today. And uh, rather than be like, yay, super excited, I'm stoked for the next 100 videos. It's a process. It's a team building thing. I'm uh, gathering my allies, my green room, and it's so satisfying to finally be at this point where I can not only imagine how it's supposed to be done, but how to do it better and to improve that process. I just, I love it. It's an exciting process. I love the journey of video production. I don't necessarily want to have to do all of it myself anymore. At one point, I want a team to be able to help with the important stuff. I need a drone pilot. I need, uh, you know, anyway, all of these things that are sort of just the next steps, but they're obviously clear to me and I know what, the, what they are and what has to be done. But release day is finally here. And the purpose of these acoustic covers is so that as the solo artist uh, in these video productions, I can change directions quickly and fuck around and experiment in order to be able to try and get the best product possible and make the mistakes so that when the time comes to bring the visionaries and the full band or collaborators or anyone else that I would purport to, to work alongside, uh, cameo appearances, uh, walk-ons, people in the background, whatever, instead of wasting anyone's time, I want to cut my teeth on these solo acoustic videos to really fuck up, you know, and make the mistakes. Oh, I'll never do that again. For instance, I learned a lot about shooting outdoors, waiting for the perfect temperature or weather, whatever that is, whether you need a rainy day or a cloudy day or a sunny day or a warm day or a, like what? <laughs> it's not fun waiting for mother nature to cooperate. But when, when mother nature does cooperate, then being like, the only guy that has to go out with the gear, great. But if you have to sort of corral six or seven people, like, okay, you know, your cinematographer and your lighting person, like, ah, it doesn't make any sense. Everyone's got a fucking life. And for all intents and purposes, you know, respectfully, asking anyone to do that kind of shit for free on a, like, zero warning, that's impossible. So until there's a salary and a budget involved and people are doing this for me full time, this is just, it's me. It's the Tebow uh, team, right? Go out and get it done on my own. But indoor shooting, oh my goodness, yeah. We're going <laughs> to be scoping out some reliably uh, controllable locations indoors that we can just light properly instead of fucking around with outdoors. Anyway, so here we are. It's that whole uh, process, the journey. It has been an amazing journey. This random drummer showing up in my house. 
Excuse me, sir, F1 is over. You're in the wrong town, buddy. Hi, Mr. McDougue. What's up? This guy's been telling me to buy an SUV because I play the drums, and so I wanted to stick it to him. Beautiful. Drums in a mini. Beauty. Fitz. We're taking your car. Let's go. Yeah, throw on the guitars. Let's go. You Muchas gracias. Make some noise for the Bachelor Party baseball team. Let's go! Right on. The gold men. The there gold you go. Man. The go. gold men. Rolled like gold. Let's go. Hey, be safe wherever you go, man. Take care of the, the, the poor sucker, right? <laughs> Ziggy played guitar. Jamming good with the wind and kidding. Inside us from Mars. He played it left hand. Nobody played. guys. If you prefer D, I'm up. I'm game with that. D? Let's go D. But you got to come in here in the light where people can see you. Yeah, it's right around here. Darling, darling, stay by me. Oh, Stand by me. The loss is such cars. Give the things that won't get lost. Like a gun that won't get tossed. No me take a look at my life from the line. Fait du Canada. Saviez-vous que c'est la 157e anniversaire de notre beau pays? Did you guys know it's the 157th birthday of Canada? Good. Je pense que ça mérite une petite tonne. On peut te chanter ensemble? Happy birthday to Canada? Can we do it, guys? You join in? Happy birthday to you. Merci beaucoup. Thank you so much. Hey, you're right in it. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. no. Fred, you got an umbrella for Henry, man? No, no, no. Oh, for oh, real? Oh, smart. Yeah. Wow. Thank you, Mo. <laughs> Shout out, Mo. Henry's losing. Thank you, Mo. Thank you, Mo. Guys, let me just say it's such an honor to be able to sit here with you guys and play on Canada Day. We're so honored and thankful to be here with you. On vous merci beaucoup. C'est quel honneur d'être capable de jouer pour vous autres. C'est la fête du Canada. Thank you so much for having us, folks. Really appreciate you guys. Thank you.